Hello, hello, mighty companions. This is Earl Purdy. Raj is going to give you your Course in Miracles Lesson 333. A Course in Miracles Lesson, I say 333, which is forgiveness ends the dream of conflict here. Forgiveness ends the dream of conflict, conflict here. Forgiveness ends the dream of conflict here. Con don't you know that conflict must be resolved? Conflict must be resolved. Conflict cannot be evaded. Conflict cannot be set aside. Conflict cannot be denied. Conflict cannot be disguised. Conflict cannot be seen as somewhere else. Conflict can't be called by another name or hidden by deceit, deceit of any kind. So if conflict is going to be escaped, it could not be evaded, set aside, denied, disguised, seen somewhere else, called by another name, or hidden by the seat of any kind. If conflict would be escaped, it cannot be evaded. Conflict must be seen exactly as it is. <clears throat> conflict must be seen exactly as the conflict is, where the conflict is thought to be, in the reality in which has been given the conflict, and with the purpose that the mind accorded it. For only then are the defenses of conflict lifted and the truth can shine upon the conflict as it disappears. Conflict must be seen exactly as it is, where it's thought to be, in the reality which has been given it, with the purpose that the mind accorded it. For only then are the defenses of conflict lifted and the truth can shine upon it as it disappears. Father, forgiveness is the light. Forgiveness is the light. Forgiveness is the light. Father, Father, God, forgiveness. Forgiveness is the light you chose to shine away all conflict and all doubt and light the way for our return to you. Forgiveness is the light you chose to shine away all conflict and all doubt and light the way for our return to you, God. No light but this can end our evil dream. No light but forgiveness can save the world. No light but forgiveness can save the world. For forgiveness alone will never fail in anything. For forgiveness alone will never fail in anything. Being your gift to your beloved son. Forgiveness is your gift to me. Forgiveness is the gift to you. Forgiveness ends the dream of conflict here. Forgiveness ends the dream of conflict here. Do you hear me? Forgiveness ends the dream of conflict, 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 conflict here. Forgiveness is the dream. Forgiveness ends the dream. Forgiveness is the dream. Forgiveness ends the dream of conflict here. And forgiveness means correct perception. Forgiveness means correct perception. So correct perception ends the dream of conflict here. Correct perception ends the dream of conflict here. It's the same as forgiveness ends the dream of conflict here. Forgiveness ends the dream. Forgiveness ends the dream. Forgiveness ends the dream of conflict here. Forgiveness ends the dream of conflict here. Forgiveness ends the dream of conflict here. Mighty companions, this is Earl Raj Purdy. And I want you to check out my classes and my videos at my website, www.earlpurdy.com. Earlpurdy.com. And let peace extend from my mind to yours. Yeah. Hello, mighty companions. This is Earl Raj Purdy, and we're going to do the, the theme. 12 in the workbook, which is called, What is the Ego? What is the Ego means what is fear? 
What is separation? What is separation thought? What is the ego? The ego is idolatry, the sign of limited and a uh, separated self. The ego is the part of you that thinks it's born in a body doomed to suffer and to end its life in death. The ego is the so-called will that sees the will of God as enemy and takes a form in which it is denied. Do you know the ego is the so-called proof that strength is weak and love is fearful, that life is really death and what opposes God alone is true. Do you know the ego is insane? The part of the mind that thinks it's separate, the part of the mind that thinks it's separate from God is insane. In fear, the ego stands beyond the everywhere, apart from all, in separation from the infinite. Do you know that in the ego's insanity, the ego thinks it has become a victor over God himself? And in the ego's terrible autonomy, <laughs> autonomy, the ego sees the will of God, the ego sees the will of God has been destroyed. To the fearful man, the will of God that you be perfectly happy has been destroyed. Do you know that the ego dreams of punishment and trembles at the figures in its dreams, its enemies? who seek to murder the ego before the ego can ensure the ego's safety by attacking them. Do you know the Son of God is egoless? Do you know that you are egoless? Do you know that your real self doesn't have any fear or sense of separation? <clears throat> what can the child of God know of madness? What can the child of God know of the death of God, when the child of God abides in God? What can the child of God, who knows he or she is a child of God, what can the child of God know of sorrow? What can the child of God know of suffering? When the child of God lives in eternal joy, how could the child of God know suffering? What can the child of God know of fear and punishment, of sin and guilt, of hatred and attack? When all there is surrounding the child of God is everlasting peace. When all there is surrounding the child of God is everlasting peace. Forever conflict free and undisturbed in deepest silence and tranquility. Do you know to know reality, to know the truth, to know love is not to see the ego and not to see the ego's thoughts is to know reality in love. To know reality is not to see the ego and the ego's thoughts, the ego's works, the ego's acts, the ego's laws, and the ego's beliefs. To know reality is not to know the ego's fearful dreams, the ego's hopes, the ego's plans for salvation, and the cost belief in the ego entails. Do you know that in suffering, the price for faith in the ego is so immense that crucifixion of you, the child of God, <clears throat> is offered daily at the ego's darkened ignorant shrine? And blood must flow before the altar where the ego's sickly followers prepare to die. And yet, with one lily of forgiveness, with one lily of correct perception, change the darkness into light, the altar to illusions of the shrine of life itself, and peace will be restored forever to the holy minds that which God created as his son. Peace will be restored forever to the holy minds which God created as his son, his dwelling place, his joy, God's love, and com completely God, completely one with God. So what is the ego? What is a fearful thought? What is the ego?